It was great to be back here at the Science Museum. It was great to be running the Ritchie Lecture again. We think the Ritchie Lecture is hugely important to encourage pupils to get involved in STEM subjects. Fantastic to be back and what a show to excite the young people here. I mean, they were just absolutely absorbed by the magic of Mega. My show is all about environmental issues and what we can do to help them. I have a trick that explains how global warming happens and also some of the issues that that causes and focuses on what we can do to help save energy, most important. So when we look at a magic trick and you try and work it out, well, we do the same thing in science. We look at climate change and we try and work out what's going on. Magic reminds us that even things we think are impossible can be completely achievable. It's such a great communications tool and it engages the children in a way that's fun and exciting, but also gets the message across in a way that hopefully they will remember. The thing I enjoyed the most about the Ritchie lecture was probably the ma uh, magic show. As well as it was like teaching us facts, it was also really entertaining. I've seen a lot of magic in my lifetime. This one was the best. When she put the water and then it magically turned black, I didn't know how she did that. I don't believe in magic, but it was like shocking and amazing at the same time to watch. Like instead of having it be like a long speech like we have in school, it made learning fun. Most people uh, learn new things about global warming. Because it was kind of interesting how much oil will be, be waste. The most interesting thing I learned was that four billion trees get destroyed like a year. Climate change is such a significant issue at the moment and on the back of COP26 we wanted to use today's wonderful Ritchie lecture to engage children on, on the subject of climate change. It's a great opportunity to, for the children to learn and having seen the children today interact and learn so much and give their thoughts on saving the planet, it's fantastic and I'm, I'm hopeful for future generations having seen the engagement today. Without STEM subjects, we've got no hope of protecting our climate and protecting our planet, so it's, it's vital that they get into these sorts of subjects. It's very important that companies like Eurenco support engaging young people into science. And things like the Ritchie Lecture really does hit the nail on the head. From our perspective in Eurenco, we're very keen that these sort of events are part of our programme where we've reached over 300,000 um, young people worldwide to involve them in the Ritchie programme and STEM subjects. Ritchie forms part of our uh, social investment programme and that's an essential part of our commitment to sustainability. Ultimately we want to get them engaged and they're going to be our scientists, our uh, engineers, mathematicians of the future to help solve such important issues such as climate change. They go away excited today about magic but also about science and it only takes one of those people to be the next Einstein. When I grow up after watching this I think I will probably become a scientist. I would definitely recommend becoming a scientist because like, it seems really interesting.